Adventure, once a year, Singapore throws a huge birthday celebration, locally known as the National Day Parade. In short, NDP. Apart from the daredevil stunts, shiny armor columns, festive music and dancing, a huge charm of the parade is the fireworks. Can you believe it? All of these are free to watch. In this video, I'll share with you when to visit and where to go to experience the best time to visit Singapore. The parade itself takes place on the 9th of August, which is Singapore's National Day. And actually, only local residents can get a ticket to the NDP. But you can actually watch the fireworks many weeks before the actual day and without needing a ticket. The NDP is a serious yearly affair in Singapore. Because of the massive scale of NDP celebrations, there are always multiple counts of rehearsals before the actual day, which is good for us because in all of these rehearsals, the fireworks also goes off. This gives us more opportunities to catch a glimpse of the fireworks. Though, from what I've heard, the earlier celebrations have less intense firework display. Looking at the rehearsal schedules in the past years, they seem to practice every weekend from the middle of June all the way till the actual day in August. Most of the rehearsals happen on Saturday evenings, but to be sure, look up the official NDP website to see the date of the rehearsals, because sometimes they may change the rehearsal day to Sunday. My cheat code is to look at the traffic adversaries posted by the LTA. They are the government agency handling all traffic-related issues. These advisories are always issued in advance, because NDP rehearsals always disrupt traffic. The peak of the firework display is usually about 8 p.m. But this free firework display is very popular, so you might want to be here earlier. I believe some of them might even have camped here since the morning or the afternoon just to secure their seats. So, where should you go? Well, the sky is the limit. This spot right here is the epicenter of the pyromancy. You can identify this area by the Marina Bay Sands building in the background. The fireworks will shoot out of those thingies in the middle of the bay. So technically, all the surrounding areas in view of the sky above of the bay is a good place to watch the fireworks. But if you hate to be in a crowded area and you want to be in the comfort of your private room or a bathtub, well, there's a way for a price. You can book a hotel around the area for a night. I can imagine the view from MBS itself must be phenomenal. <laughs> but remember to book the hotel room that's facing the Marina Bay. There's a local blog, The Smart Local. They have kindly done comparisons on the hotel pricings. And they are not pretty. So for the more economical options, just stick around the Marina Bay. You can also just look out where the photographers set up their cameras. Usually those are the best spots. Personally, I like the Merlion Park area. So I'm gonna set up camp over here.
it's much, much more impressive in person. So I highly recommend coming here and seeing it for yourself. If you want to see more of Singapore, check out my Singapore travel guides over here. I'll see you there.